Okay, team, I want to wrap up this section on phonics involving letter sound correspondence and scenarios involving decoding. That's when we go from letters to sounds to correctly pronounce a word and encoding when we take the sounds in a word and we match them up with the correct spelling patterns. And, uh, and syllabication rules involving taking multi-syllable words and breaking them in, up into syllables and looking at those syllables and be able to name them. This is an open syllable or a closed syllable. And what I want to do is take those ideas and look at how those are, ideas are applied to everyday high-frequency words. So I have this definition of high-frequency words here. You may want to take a moment and read this over, but it says here, high frequency words are the most common everyday words used in oral language and in printed text. So these are extremely common words, like the ones that I have on this page, hot, soft, smooth, green, fuzzy, lumpy, cuddly, spotted, like these are everyday words. And I wanted to look at these everyday words, and I just want to practice um, making some observations on the syllable types that are going on. Like, for example, would you agree that hot, soft, green are single syllable words? Yes. And what type of single syllable words are these? Well, hot and soft, th this is a CVC word, right? Let me see if I can get a, a counter, a color that you can see. So, so we have here hot. It is both of these are, we could say, um, closed syllable. So I'll write down closed. And uh, they're both, uh, this one here is a CVC, and this is a closed syllable, a CVCC. Is that right? Okay. Um, green, now green is a single syllable word, but it's, it, is, uh, it has a what? A vowel team, and it also has a, a blend in it. Is that right? A vowel team is when we have two vowels that make one sound, also known as a vowel diagraph. But a vowel team has two, vo two vowels that make one sound, and the vowel is long. That's a vowel team. Smooth. Smooth has got what? Single syllable word. It's got a blend. It's got the double O, which is considered a vowel diagraph. Two vowels that make one sound. It's got a constant diagraph. Is that right? So look at that. We got a smooth, single syllable word, has a, uh, a blend in the beginning a vowel diagraph in the middle, a constant uh, diagraph at the end. These are all basic words, right? Fuzzy. Okay, so we got a little bit of a uh, vowel, constant, constant, vowel going on. And this is also the rabbit rule. Another vowel, constant, constant, vowel for these multi-syllable words. Cuddly, vowel, constant, constant, vowel, right? Spotted, vowel, constant, constant, vowel, right? We, we got these rules going on. Okay, uh, just from this page, I got another page of this stuff too. Now what's going on with these ones here? Can you spot them? Maybe you're like rabbit rule, or we could just say uh, vowel, constant, constant, vowel, right? Uh, controlled R, controlled R, um, R control, right? Look at that, orange has got R control. Uh, large has R control, um, hard has R, R control. Stripes has vowel consonant uh, magic E, right? And it has that, um, that inflectional suffix, the S, and we don't drop the E. And we have a constant cluster. Constant cluster is when we have three things, right? And this particular constant cluster is three things, three sounds. Okay, I hope you're enjoying this team because you're getting practice with all these uh, syllable types um, using these everyday words. Try this, right? Scratchy. Constant cluster, uh, atch, atch. Oh, this one's a fun one. Another cluster, but this one, uh, uh, this is a cluster. Hold on. Scratchy has two clusters. This is a cluster and this is a cluster. It's three things, three constant clusters. This is a constant cluster where it's three things, three sounds. It's a traditional constant cluster. This is a constant cluster where it's three things, uh, one sound. Is that right? Scratch. The ch sound is TCH. It's three things, one sound known as a trigraph. It's a type of constant cluster. Okay. Um, gigantic, gi uh, or slimy, slimy. This is a uh, uh, 
constant, this is a tricky one, but it's a uh, vowel, consonant, vowel word, right? So that's a long I. Or gigantic, this is a good one. Vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. So we have a uh, gi, so there would actually be an open syllable here, okay? Okay, and then we'd have, you know, a, a closed syllable and a closed syllable with a B, C, E, B, C, C, E. Okay, look, I'm showing you this. I don't mean to rant, but we're practicing now the syllable types in these everyday words. And you want to get to the point where you can do this, like try the list that I just did and just do some free form so that when you start to see the student make mistakes on their essays, you can start to say, I observe this and this and start to see patterns, okay?